and bam check it out i am now inside of the 3d world that i created here for that wiz khalifa video so Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I want to apologize for not uploading last week. I was actually in Washington, D.C. for the full week. But we're back now, back on our normal uploading schedule. And we have some exciting tutorials coming out that I think you guys are going to like. So today we're talking about creating virtual reality immersive worlds. And this is something that I think is going to be useful for where we're heading with video content creation, um, editing 3D in the future. So we're only going to be using After Effects here. We're going to create some of these 360 degree VR videos. You see, I'm just using the browser control in YouTube right here. So I'll leave the links to some of these examples. This is Juice World, Hate the Other Side. We got a little psychedelic uh, elephant here. So if those of you who want to just use built-in After Effects plugins, but still take the concept that I'm gonna show you, the 3D plugins are gonna be optional. Again, you can do this for music videos, uh, school projects for fun, um, for your website, for an NFT that you're creating. If you wanna sort of embed a download where you have this immersive world that the people can be in. I think these are all really strong ideas and give you a lot of added value when it comes to getting different clients and being able to create different things. We're gonna hop into After Effects and show you how you can create your own. But first, let's dive into what we've actually created. So we have this 3D video here. I made this all in 3D and Cinema 4D. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn your already made Cinema 4D videos into VR videos just by changing one thing. Um, a really nice, useful trick if you wanna kinda live in your own C4D world. But this isn't about C4D, it's about After Effects. So skip to the end if you just wanna see that tip. For After Effects, we're gonna talk about using 3D plugins. We're gonna talk about some camera settings, adding in some different things here. I want you to design your own VR world. I'm just gonna show you the features and tools tools to get you started. And if you guys have any VR headset, you can toss that on and view this in VR. So let's go ahead and try that out now. And bam, check it out. I am now inside of the 3D world that I created here for that Wiz Khalifa video. So let me try and play this. Um, and you guys can check it out. I can look behind me. I can look next to me. I can see Wiz in the car over there. Pretty awesome ways to experience these. I don't even know which direction the webcam is, so bear with me. All right, guys, now a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Q. This is an extremely useful tool for video editors, people in esports, production teams. It's a professional and organized project workspace with a lot of integration and some very useful tools. So let me show you around this very quickly. You have integration with Slack and Discord, as well as you can add text message notifications. I'm doing this all on the browser, but you can go ahead and download the desktop app to make this easier. I'm going to start off by creating a group and we'll just name this test project. So above me, you can see you can invite collaborators, you can invite your clients, so you can work with the team. Let's dive into my favorite feature first, which is this review panel here. You can upload your files that you're currently working on and get feedback from the client. This gives you so much more clarity in your revisions. You don't have to dive in and ask what they mean by that because you can go to each parts of the video where they leave a comment and you can specifically draw on the video to specify what you're looking at. I think this can be something that could be very useful for you guys that are really trying to do this full time. They have an in-house payment system so you can track your revenue from your clients directly from the dashboard. Super awesome feature for keeping everything together. Awesome thing about this, if we go up to subscription and billing, if you're working solo, you can use this for free, which is awesome. And then of course, if you're working with a bigger team, you can go up the ladder and pay for a subscription if you like. If you guys are interested, go ahead and check out my link at the top of the description to learn more. All right guys, so in After Effects, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new composition, but unlike previously how we make compositions, we're gonna create a VR composition. So go up to the top left where it says composition. We're gonna go to VR and we're gonna click create VR environment. So I'm gonna select create new VR master here. For the size, I'm gonna go ahead and put that at either 2048 or 4096. It depends if you want a 2K, 4K. And then frame rate, I'll put that at something like 23976. Duration, I'll keep that at 30 seconds. Of course, you can choose what you'd like. And then we're gonna check on use 3D null camera control. And I'm gonna check on I am using 3D plugins. So it's optional if you wanna use 3D plugins in this, you can just throw text around you can throw different 2D elements and make them into 3D space. I'll show you that right now. We're gonna click create VR master and then we can X this out. So you'll see we have our master cam controller here and your actual VR camera. So let's start placing some things in the scene here and then we'll start adding in 3D plugins, things like that. So just as an example, let's right click and go to new solid and I'll name this grid. And we're gonna go ahead and go to our effects and presets and search for the grid effect. 
and place that onto our solid. Now let's put this in 3D space. So we're gonna click toggle switches and modes until you see this little 3D cube switch here. This will turn this into a 3D layer. So we'll enable that for our clip. Open the transform options here. You're gonna see all these new options for transforming it in 3D space. You can change your orientation. You can change your Z axis position, which is this third value here. And also control C, control V to paste that. And we'll go ahead and move this copy over to the other side here. So just taking our positioning and moving it over. And again, these are 3D layers. So we take our VR master cam controller layer here and we open up the transform for that. If we change our positioning. You're going to see how we can transform in 3D space and move past this grid. If you guys also click C on your keyboard to bring up your camera controls, you can rotate. You can do this with text. I'll show you a quick example. We'll name that tutorial. So if you want to have some flying lyrics or text here again, you click toggle switches a mode so you can see that 3D layer switch, you enable it, and then when you go at the end and you animate your camera, you'll be able to see how we can pass by this text in 3D space. So that's how you can start setting up those 2D layers. Again, all those examples I put at the beginning, use those for inspiration if you wanna make some trippy things, whatever. We're gonna start using Element 3D, which is an After Effects 3D plugin, to start placing some 3D objects in our scene here and creating some stuff from scratch. Now let's start adding in some of our 3D elements. So I'm gonna right click down here and go to new and create a solid and we'll name this element 3d you're going to need the element 3d plugin to be able to do this so i'll leave a link below if you want to check that out let's go to our effects and presets and we're going to search for elements and place that on our solid in our effect controls for element 3d let's click scene setup so in element 3d let's talk about where you can find some assets i also made this entire video talking about a bunch of different sites that have free 3d models something like cg trader turbo squid if you just search on there you want to find either a dot obj model or a dot c4d model that's what's compatible with element 3d you can also go on my website if you guys want some common music video looking 3d objects go to 3d assets and textures and we have a 3d assets starter pack which gives you a bunch of different models which you can use in elements as well as some different textures and stuff all right guys so again i'll leave links below to where i found all of these assets let's start off with this miami day and night skyline free model here so in after effects let's go back to element 3d we're going to click import and we're going to bring in one of those free obj or c4d models and then this also did come with a texture. So if I wanted to, I could click on this default here, click on diffuse and start loading in the textures. If you guys need any help with this, go check out some of my other Element 3D videos. So we talked a bunch about this plugin in the past. For example, here's the diffuse texture if you wanna have it like that. Now some other cool features, there's a few little thumbnails here. If we click wireframe, you can enable that, add some cool little effects with wireframe if you want sort of like a sci-fi Tron look. Change the fill mode to lines only so that you don't have any of the actual polygons. You just have this wireframe so we'll just use that as an example let's create an actual keyframe so that we're zooming forward here so we'll just click and drag these all down at the beginning of our timeline we'll drag about 20 seconds and then we're going to take this third position value this is our z-axis see if i drag that we start moving towards it and we'll go a little bit closer to the city so very easy to create some sort of vr lyric video doing this very fast and easy just using this method by using some 3d text using some 3d objects um one thing you want to do to make your life way easier when putting in these 3d objects in element 3d here open up the group one or whatever group you're working in and you always want to click create group null here so we'll create this and this gives you an easier control for moving around your 3d objects without having to do it in world transform so we'll rename this to city control and then if you just open up the transform for here this is just way easier you know you can move it closer you can move it closer to the camera you can even grab the axis here you need to pay attention to the full 360 degree angle that they're looking at here not just what you see in the front so one of the biggest differences when it comes to 2d or this full 360 degree we need to account for everything over here everything behind so make sure you're thinking of that when you do piece this together so that's the main tools for placing 3d objects in animating your camera using that 3d layer switch to change 2d into 3d space let's add a couple more things in here like maybe some particles flying around so we'll go back to element 3d click scene setup and let's create a new group here so we'll click to create a new group by clicking this folder we'll drag that out and we'll put this as group 2 and then in group 2 all we need to do is click create and make some spheres just one sphere is fine if you guys want you can choose a color for your sphere so if you want to make maybe red particles blue particles whatever it is we'll just go to basic settings diffuse color make them red and click OK. Now we have a red sphere. Let's use our particle replicator, a great tool. And this is what I use to create that forest environment. So we are in group two. So let's close group one. 
and let's open group two. And then for group two, our particles, we first want to click and create a group null, and we'll rename that to particle control. So now if I wanted to, I can open up the transform for that, I could change the position, and it's a lot easier to um, maneuver this around than using element 3D settings. So back with element 3D, for group two, we wanna go to particle replicator. We could use plane if we want these sort of flat. See if I bump that up, it's gonna keep them nice and uniform like that. Or what you could do is you could put this on something like sphere so that it's a little bit more drawn out. Uh, and then you can kind of push this in more, change your shape scale if you want those more out, change your scatter. So pretty easy there, just another neat little trick. If you wanna have some sort of environment here so it's not just this black void, we can also add something like that. So we'll go back to element 3D, scene setup. Let's add some sort of galaxy environment. So we'll create another new group, drag that out, put that in group three, galaxy. So for Galaxy, we're gonna go ahead and create another sphere. So click Create and Sphere. Here under Transform, we're gonna take the scale that, put that on 10,000 so that we have this huge sphere over our 3D area. And now we just need to choose some sort of environment. And this is how you can change the sky. Uh, in the forest, I made this blue, so you don't have to choose this. You could choose some sort of sky texture, some HDRI, or you can just go onto Google and find some stars, some galaxy map. So once you find your texture, you go back here to default for your material, and then just load that into the diffuse. So we'll load the texture, and we're gonna find that star map that we're using. And then same for our environment. We'll click environment and we'll load that into here. So we'll load in our star map. There you go, we have the reflectivity now and we'll click okay. Now back here, you don't see your environment. So you need to scroll down in your element 3D settings under render settings, under physical environment, the very first one here, make sure you click show in background and there's our galaxy. Now to bring those grids back, just make sure they're in a layer above the element 3D layer. There you go, that's how you can have whatever kind of 3D sky or environment you want. So if I rotate around here, you can see how that looks, pretty cool. So I'm just gonna add some more 3D objects in element 3D from my 3D beginner pack. Of course, you guys could just use any of those free 3D sites that I showed you. So there you go, just some crazy stuff using element 3d and what you can do with that even under here you can find some cool stuff under deform under group you can enable twist taper and you can really kind of create some crazy stuff going on with um these 3d objects you can bend them you can able 3d distortion under noise which is kind of crazy it just kind of starts to like implode so maybe we'll keyframe some of that and we'll go forward all right so i showed you how to make something weird and crazy here again make whatever it is you guys want using element 3d um if i'm going too fast with the world bending just watch any of my other videos or any other element 3d tutorial the main priority here is showing you how to turn this into vr so so once you have your 3d environment here let's go ahead and export this as a vr video so that we can view that on YouTube and look around in it. Before we export anything, we want to go up to Composition VR and create VR environment once more. And before we set this up, you're also going to want to check if you go to File Project Settings, make sure you're using GPU Acceleration CUDA or this may not go through correctly. So we'll click OK there. Instead of creating new VR master like we did earlier, we want to click Create VR from Current Composition and we'll choose the composition which is our VR master. Now we want to select Use 3D Null Camera Control and I am using 3D plugins. And then let's go ahead and click Create VR Output or Refresh VR Output because I already set it up a little bit earlier. And there you go. So that's how you get that fully expanded 360 looking video. This is what it looks like when you input it into your video playing stuff like YouTube. You guys can also add VR Glow. Adding stock glow usually doesn't work as well. So if we add VR Glow, you guys can change any things here. So to finally export that 360 video, what you wanna do is if you're only using After Effects, you want to go up to File, export and you need to add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. So you need to have Adobe Media Encoder. If you don't have Adobe Media Encoder or you just don't want to use it, you can also use that dynamic link with Adobe Premiere. To create that dynamic link from scratch again, um, I'm going to create a new project here. And in Premiere, we're going to create a new sequence and we're going to have the sequence be the exact same frame size as our After Effects one. So we'll copy that. And then we're going to go and click this little page in the bottom left in our project bin put in a transparent video and our video is around 20 seconds so we'll just put it like that right click on that transparent video placeholder and click replace with after effects composition you see you have your linked comp we can delete the transparent video and then in our project bin you just want to drag in the vr output so 
find your VR output here, drag that into your linked comp. And there we go. So we can file, save that and see that in Premiere now. Now, if you don't want to use the dynamic link, it's fine. These settings are going to be the exact same for media encoder or Premiere. So we go up to file export. We're going to go to the preset and I'm going to put this at either YouTube 1080p or 4k, whatever, whatever resolution preset you want. I'll put this at 4k, I suppose to not have these black bars. We're going to click match source here, scroll all the way down here. And at the very bottom where it says VR video, just check on video is VR. That's all you need to do. Go ahead and save this. I'll name this uh, tutorial VR environments. Click save and we'll export this and then upload it to YouTube. All right guys, so our video finished uploading. You don't have to do anything special when uploading it to YouTube. As long as you checked video is VR in Premiere and you have that 360 degrees view, you're good to go. If I click play here again, I can view this in browser. If I had a VR headset, I could toss that on and look around like I showed you at the beginning of the video. So again, pretty cool, tons of applications. Make sure you're paying attention to all 360 degrees. Here's another one that I made, um, this little forest. This is pretty much using the exact same things I showed you in After Effects with Element 3D. I'll have a link below to where you can find these tree models. All I did is use the particle replicator like I showed you in this tutorial to create this forest. And then I use some of these mushroom models, which again will be linked below. So the exact same steps, just changing around the sky. And I added a bit of Element 3D fog as well. And then the last thing I want to show you is Again, that easy little trick for changing your C4D videos into VR videos. And this is extremely easy. So go ahead and open any 3D scene you guys have created and whatever 3D software you guys are using. The way I do it in Cinema 4D with the Octane plugin, you see right here, this is my final camera that I'm using. If I uncheck this, you'll see how that'll go up. I just click on my Octane camera tag here, and then you see where it says camera type above me. I change that from thin lens to panoramic. In the panoramic tab, I keep that at spherical, 360 degrees, that's fine. Only other thing I need to do is click on my render settings here and make sure my output, the width is at 1920 by 1080. I wanna make that two by one aspect ratio. So 2000 by 1000 if you want it 2K, 4000 by 2000 if you want it 4K. So you'll see film aspect two by one. That's all you need to do so you don't have any black bars. And that's really about it. Under my save, this is where I choose where I want to export the frames. Export those frames into any folder, bring them back into After Effects the normal way to create your animation and then upload that to YouTube. It's easy as that. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did learn something new. Comment what you'd like to see next. And again, expect regular uploads. We're back on our normal schedule. We have 3D things, After Effects, Premiere things, music video things, bunch of cool stuff coming soon. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting, and I'll see you guys in the next one.